still in part six. The 2000s, the new millennium. Michelle Obama, often compared to Jackie O, endorsed up-and-coming American designers by frequently wearing garments produced by them. She was dubbed the everyday style icon because of her influence on high, low fashion, which are items that have a high price tag that are paired with items with a lower price tag. Environmentally friendly fibers were highly advertised. Tinsel, regenerated from wood chips, lessened the pollution. Faux fur and leather was also increasingly used. The growth of the Latinx population, the aging baby boomer who was now over 50 and plus size American led to changes in fashion as retailers tried to appeal to a more diverse audience. Signage was made in Spanish and English. Merchandise was geared to appeal to the Latinx community. Partnership with Latinx celebrities increased their market base. An increased use of casual clothing was most likely the result of the aging baby boomer who preferred more comfortable clothing and retailers created plus sizes to accommodate the figure of the plus size woman. Plus size Americans. The average dress size of an American woman is a size 14. Retailers began to release plus size clothing lines that were fashionable for plus size women. The plus size market makes up to 18% of the women's clothing industry revenue. The digital revolution. So online shopping is a vital avenue for making purchases. Fashion blogs became an important medium for obtaining fashion information. These blogs are personal websites that are created to share ideas, photos, and links to other sites regarding fashion or any other topic of interest to the owner. Social media is a personal platform used to connect with others. Oftentimes, influencers arise from social media. Elements of the fashion system. Product life cycles are now shorter due to the digital revolution. Design. The design process was influenced and some was sped up by fashion consulting services, computer aided design, and product life cycle management. Consulting services are used to research, analyze, and predict trends. This information is then provided to the designer to utilize while creating new product lines. CAD or computer aided design significantly reduces the time it takes to design garments, colorways, and draft patterns and grade patterns. Product life cycle management software reduces production time by improving supply chain communication. Production. A lot of production is now offshore to other countries. Some manufacturers engage in exploiting workers abroad and in the U.S. Sweatshops was one of the ways that workers were exploited. In these shops, they were having to work long work hours for very minimal pay in bad working conditions. Fast fashion retailers turn merchandise over very quickly. However, they do pose environmental concerns as well as exploitation concerns. Fast fashion retailers include H&M and Zara, for example. The internet and multi-channel retailing. Fashion cycles have been shaped and accelerated by the internet. This is possibly due to multi-channel retailing. Clothing and clothing accessories are the most popular items purchased online. Vintage clothing. Manufacturers created replicas of worn jeans. These jeans were called new vintage jeans. They imitated the spots, tears, and stains that would appear on vintage jeans. Mass retailers then created what they called distressed jeans 
that sold for a fraction of the cost of a new vintage jeans. Distressed jeans ranged in price from about $50 as compared to new vintage jeans at about $200. The changing teen market. Tweens became its own category. Retailers exclusively aimed their merchandise towards teens increasingly. Teens look to celebrities for their fashion information. However, they are not as brand loyal as adults as their loyalty often fluctuates depending on what their peers are wearing as well as what celebrities are wearing. The origins of major fashion trends. So the September 11 attacks led to a drop in the demand for fashion. In order to combat this, Fashion for America created a shop to show your support event that was launched to stimulate the fashion industry. Patriotic clothing with the American flag was popular during this period. Military influences could also be seen in civilian dress. Muslims dressed in traditional Islamic dress, but were viewed as suspicious. Political leaders and celebrities. Rather than models, Celebrities were now being used in fashion magazines as they were seen as style icons. Celebrities such as Lady Gaga became muses or the spokespersons of brands. Brands like Puma and Nike partnered with Stella McCartney and other designers to design merchandise. Costume components for women. Styles came in and out of fashion quickly. However, basic classic styles continued to be worn. There was numerous variations of garments that were available. Prints such as camouflage, animal fur, and leather were fashionable. The boho trend, which was brightly colored, soft flowing fabrics and combinations of various pattern fabrics was popular for several years. Tops were cut like the wife beaters that men wore. This was more like an undershirt style for men. Capri pants were a wearable essential for women. Cargo pants and cargo shorts with large pockets were also convenient to wear because they could hold cell phones. Backless, off the shoulder, and one shoulder dresses styles were popular for evening wear. Rent the runway allowed consumers to wear top designer clothing for a limited time by renting out garments. Pea coats and double breasted coats in navy and black were worn. Down jackets had faux fur hoods. Athletic looks were now worn for everyday wear. R&D or research and development was utilized to create lightweight garments of nylon or polyester. Speedo's LXR racer suit was one of the products that was created from R&D. Plus size swimwear was now available in one piece and or bikini styles. The burkini was a full body swimsuit with a hood that was created especially for Muslim lifeguards. Loungewear was seen as a crossover product and was worn outside of the home. Underwear was seamless and came in boy briefs and hipster styles. The seamless underwear provided a clean look under tightly fitted clothing, so there was no panty lines or bra lines that were visible. Flip-flops with heels or wedges and other wedge shoe styles as, long, as well as Crocs and Uggs were popular. Belts that were heavily ornamented were also popular. Pashmina were cashmere shawls 
that were worn during this period. Handbags had cell phone compartments. Invisible diamond or pearl necklaces and chandelier earrings were worn. Straight or wavy hair was in style. Extensions were used to achieve desired length and style. Highlights and lowlights were worn by professionals. Youth wore pastel colored hair as well as gray colored hair. Baseball caps, knit fleece, and soft crown caps were worn. Makeup was used to enhance looks. Botox was used to eliminate wrinkles and self tanning lotion was used to darken the skin. Costume components for men. Concentration on fit. Slimmer silhouettes were favorable. Burberry plaids were popular. Hoodies with sport or branded logos were worn. They were offered in a variety of styles and weights. The modern black tuxedo now had a fit that gave it a more modernized look. Men's hair was worn short or shaved bald. Trucker's caps were popular. Shag and faux hawk hairstyles were also worn. Footwear included athletic footwear, leather oxfords, suede half boots, and loafers. Tattoos were more common now. Rings and watches were also commonly worn. Grills, which was jewelry worn over the teeth, was popular only in major cities and in areas where there was a large population of celebrities. A soul patch, which was a small patch of hair centered beneath the lip, was also worn during this period. Costume components for children. Children wore authentic urban looks. Their looks, however, did mimic the styles of adults. Fire retardant sleepwear was also created. Character clothing such as Spider-Man and Batman was popular on children's wear. Teen girls wore looks inspired by Britney Spears. However, this style of clothing was banned in some schools and skirt length dress codes were imposed. American Girl, which is a toy collection, became popular amongst young girls. Young girls actually dressed alike as their dolls. Teen and college age youth wore low rise jeans, mini skirts with leggings, velour sets, and oversized glasses. Willies were shoes with wheels that were inset into the soles. Some schools banned the shoes as they were thought to be a distraction. Popular shoe brands for children included Stride Right, Keds, Weebok, and Toddler University.